In this video, I'm going to show you how to accept donations on WordPress. Now, if you have a charity website or an NGO website through which you want to accept donations, then this video is for you. And I'm going to walk you through how you can add a donation feature onto your website step by step. So, if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. The next thing we are going to do is install a plugin. And to install the plugin, I'm going to go ahead and go to the back end of my website. From here, I hover on plugins, then I go ahead and click on add new. Under search plugins, I search for fundraising and donation management. And this is the very plugin we are going to use, donation platform for WooCommerce. So I go ahead and click on install now. It is installed, I activate. After installing and activating the plugin, you see this notification. Donation platform for WooCommerce requires WooCommerce to be installed and activated. So let's go ahead and install the WooCommerce plugin. So I click on add new. Under search plugins, I search for WooCommerce. I have WooCommerce right here by automatic. I click on install now. It is installed. I go ahead and activate. And it will take us to the WooCommerce setup wizard. So quickly, I'll run through the setup wizard. So I go ahead and choose my country origin address. Then I click on continue. No thanks. The industry, I choose order. Then I enter NGO or charity, whichever one you want. Continue. The types of products, I can select physical products and even downloads. It doesn't really matter. Then I click on continue. How many products do you plan to display? I don't have any product yet. Currently selling elsewhere. No. Then I click on continue. I don't want to add any recommended business features. So I uncheck it. Then I click on continue. And now we are done with the basic setup. Now that we are done installing our donation plugin, next, let's go ahead and add a donation campaign. To do that, we head over to products, then we go ahead and click on add new. Here, I enter the name of my product, which is the donation campaign. Next, I enter the product description, that is the description of the campaign. I'll just paste in some dummy content. Under product data, I leave it as simple product. And I'm going to go ahead and select virtual since we are not going to be doing any shipping. And I also make sure that it is set as a donation product. So I check this. Next, I click on donation form. And the first thing we have here is the short code, which we can embed onto any page we have on our website so that users can click on it to be able to make a donation. And right here, we also have the direct link to the donation campaign. So you can also share this link to your users so that they use it in order to make a donation. Next, we have donation range. And by default, the system has given us three Ghana cities as the minimum and the maximum as 50 Ghana cities. You can go ahead and edit it if you want. And this will take you to the WooCommerce settings under the donations tab. Under general options, the first option we have is allow more than one product in CAD. So if you want users to be able to add more than one product to the cart, you can go ahead and enable this. The title text for your contribution is your contribution. You can change it if you want. Choose an amount title text is also set as choose an amount. You can also go ahead and change this if you want. Next is the minimum donation amount, which is set to three Ghana cities or three dollars or whichever currency you are using. And the maximum amount is set to 50,000 Ghana cities in my case. So I can go ahead and change all these values if I want to. Another important feature here is recovery fees. You can enable this if you want to ask your donors to cover transaction fees for the donations they will be making. And finally, we have design options where you can go ahead and set different colors for each one of them for main color, secondary color, and then error color. I leave everything as they are. Then I go ahead and save the changes. I exit out of here and going back to our product creation. The next feature I have is fundraising goal. This is where you go ahead and enter the amount of money you need for your campaign. 
so i'll just make it ten thousand next we have end date i'll go ahead and set the date on which i want the campaign to end so the day i make it 30 month will be 08 and finally 2023 next we have layout of amount suggestions we drop down the arrow and you see three options we have just input box radio button selection and then input box plus range slider for now let's leave it as the just input box going down we can also enter short product description i'll just place in the same dummy content scrolling up i can set a featured image for my campaign so i click on set product image i'll just select any of these images and i click on set product image scrolling down if you have more images you can go ahead and add them as gallery you can also create categories for your campaigns so i'll go ahead and click on add new category then i call the supporter project i click on add new category and it's added right here going down you can also go ahead and add some tags i'll enter water project you can add as many as you want going up i go ahead and click on publish it is published now let's go ahead and take a look right click on view product open link in a new tab and this is how our campaign page will look like so we have the title which is campaign for clean water project and this is the short description going down is the main description next is the amount of money we are seeking for our campaign that is 10,000 Ghana cities and at the moment we have raised zero of 10,000 Ghana cities and the campaign will run for three months next we have your contribution that is a text field where the donor will enter the amount they want to contribute when that is done they go ahead and click on donate if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue now let's go back to the campaign editing page to see the other option for the contribution going back i scroll down to donation form and the layout of amount suggestions i drop down the arrow and i'm going to go ahead and use radio button selection and we have amount suggestions this is where you go ahead and enter the various amounts you want users to be able to use in order to donate when i click in there you see that i have five up to 1500 so i can go ahead and select the ones i want just by clicking on them or i can manually enter the particular amounts i want so for instance if i select five you see that it is added if i also want i can just go ahead and enter in 10 then i hit enter i can enter 5000 and i hit enter if you enter a particular amount and you don't need it anymore you just click on the x icon to take them off so let me just go ahead and select some few maybe 5 10 150 750 1000 and finally 1500 let's go ahead and save the changes so i click on update it is saved i go back to the campaign page then i go ahead and refresh the page and this is how it will look like so users can easily go ahead and select the particular amount they want to donate then they go ahead and click on the donate button to get to the next step awesome i'll show you how the donation is done in a moment next let's go back to the campaign editing page going down to donation form let's see the third option so i drop down the arrow here and i choose input box plus range slider going up i update it is saved i go back to the campaign page and i refresh the page and this is how it will look like so users can easily click in here to enter the amount they want or they can use the slider to choose whichever amount they want for this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and use the second option which is the radio buttons and i need to select my amounts back then i go ahead and save the changes by clicking on update going back I refresh and I have my buttons bag full. And you notice that apart from the fixed amounts, users also have the option to use order 
in order for them to be able to enter the particular amount they want to donate. That is if they cannot find it here. Perfect. Now that we are done creating our campaign, let's hear how we can make it accessible on our website. At the moment, users of our website will not be able to have access to the campaign simply because there is no link anywhere on the website that can point to it. Even though we have the link right here, but users will not be able to land on this page because there is no button or anything that will point them to this particular page. And there are several ways we can do that. The first one, the first method is to use the short code and embed it on whichever page you want. So let's go back to the product editing page. Going down under donation form, we have the short code right here. So I'll just go ahead and grab it. Then I can go ahead and put this short code on any page I want. So going to the front end, I want to put it on the home page. So I go over to home. I go ahead and edit it with Elementor. Scrolling down, let's assume this is where I want to put it. So I'll go over to the widgets and search for short code. I have short code right here. I'll just drag and drop. Then in here, I go ahead and paste in my short code. Then I update my page. It is updated. Let's take a look by clicking on the preview changes icon. Scrolling down. I have my donation feature right here. So you said we just have to go ahead and select the amount they want to donate. Then they click on next. And you see that it will open up the donor details form. You will just go ahead and fill this. Then they click on next in order to complete the checkout. And one thing you will notice is that having the donation form right here doesn't really look cool. Even though everything will depend upon what you want. So let's look at the second way we can make our donation campaign visible on our website. Before I do that, I want to take off the donation form from here. So I go back to my Elementor editor. I'll just go ahead and right click on it. Then I click on delete. Then I go ahead and update. I can exit from here and here as well. So let's look at the second way we can display the donation campaign on our website. We can do that by placing this link on any page we want. So I'll just go ahead and right click, open link in a new tab. Then I go ahead and copy it. Let's go back to the home page. I edit it with Elementor and I can go ahead and add it to any button I have on my home page. Maybe I can add it to this one. Remember, we added the campaign page onto this button. I can replace it with what I've copied from here. I take it off then I go ahead and paste in the new link. I click on update. Let's preview the changes. So from here, users can now go ahead and click on donate now. So that it will take them to the campaign page. Then they go ahead and proceed with their donation. Now that we have successfully added a campaign, let's see if users will be able to make a donation. I select the particular amount I want to donate, then I click on donate. And this will take me to the checkout page. From here, users still have the opportunity to select the amount they want. And this is where they enter in their donor details. And we have the donation amount right here. That is the summary. Now you here you notice that, sorry, it seems there is no available payment method for your state. And this is because we have not added any payment gateways onto our website. So let's go ahead and add a payment option. To do that, I head back to the back end of my website. I click on the WordPress logo right here to take me to the dashboard. Next, I go over to WooCommerce, then I click on settings. I click on payments. I want to use direct bank transfer, so I go ahead and enable it. It should be noted that you can use any WooCommerce supported payment gateway, be it PayPal, Stripe, or whichever one you want. If you are from Africa, you may want to consider using either Paystack or Flutterwave. I click on Save Changes, then I can go ahead and manage it so that I'll be able to add my payment details. Here, if you have some instructions, you can go ahead and add it. Next, this is where you want to add your account details. So the account name, I'll enter the name of my organization. Next, I enter my account number. 
Next, I enter the name of my bank. This is a fictitious bank. We don't have any bank like that in Ghana. Next, I enter the sort code. If your country uses the IBA and you enter it in here, in Ghana here, we use Swift code. I am done. Then I go ahead and click on save changes. Now, if I go back to the front end and refresh the page, press send, you see that I now have direct bank transfer. So let me go ahead and finish up the checkout process. I fill my donor details right here pretty quick. All right, I fill out my details. Then I go ahead and click on donate now. Thank you for your donation. Thank you, your donation has been received. And this is the donation number, the date on which the donation is made, my email address, the payment method, which is direct bank transfer, the donation amount, and down here is the bank details of the organization. So the user will have to pick this information, then go ahead and make the donation. So the donor will receive a message with regards to this donation and the administrator of the website will also receive a message with regards to the donation. So if I go back to the back end, then I click on orders. You see that there's a new order which is on hold. If I click on the name of the donor, let's assume the person has finally made the donation. The money has hit our account. The status, I'll just change it from hold to completed. Then I'll go ahead and click on update. And the donor will receive a new message with regards to the completion of the donation. Before I wrap up, it should be noted that you need to make sure that users will be able to create an account on your website before they can go ahead and make donations. If I go to the back end of my website, then I head over to WooCommerce settings. Under accounts and privacy, you see that at the moment it is set to allow customers to place orders without an account. So with this, users will be able to make donations without creating accounts on your website. You can also allow customers to log into an existing account during checkout. Next, we have account creation, where you can allow customers to create an account during checkout. With this feature, users will be able to create an account on your website before they make a donation and we also have allow customers to create an account on the my account page maybe this one i leave it as it is since we are not running an e-commerce website and i'll give users the opportunity to be able to choose their own username as well as password so i uncheck this then i go ahead and click on save changes you need to also make sure that your website is set to allow users to create accounts on your website to confirm that you head over to settings then click on general and the membership you want to make sure that anyone can register is selected which i've already done so that's it on how you can add a donation campaign onto your charity website all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.